Bronx finest. Bronx finest. Bronx finest. Yeah. Uh, I'ma let these lyrics amplify. Battle cry. And I'm shaking like a box truck. So let's get this going real quick. <laughs> So fresh off of Wrestle Kingdom, man. Um, basically, let's just go down on it real quick. Um, what y'all think? What was your favorite match off top, real quick? Ooh, I know Joey's favorite uh, match was the Fatal Four Way. Yeah, for man. The, the, the junior title. The that junior was, heavyweight. Oh my, oh my goodness. Will Osprey just? Yeah, it stole it. They stole the show. I think totally. they stole the show. Totally stole it. Without the mainstream media being around the Jericho match, that right there could have definitely stole the show on its own. Yeah, it, it, just the marquee, Jericho and Kenny Omega. The spots. That was the yeah. Like, oh my goodness. It's did you a hear, spot fest. Did you guys hear Jericho's podcast yet this week? Oh, not at all. He got Kenny Omega on it already. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> He went and got Kenny on the first thing. They was just talking shit off rip. Unbiased. Exactly. Unbiased podcast. It was fucking amazing. That's crazy. Shootski. They broke down how the, how the match went down, man. It's pretty gangster what New Japan did, man. And they're looking to get more WWE guys for the future for this. So it's looking, it's looking pretty alright on that. Yeah, I totally agree. And it's funny, like, let me just bring you to a podcast after I busted you open like a couple of nights ago. Yeah, yeah, they were, talk they were actually talking about that too. Not even a couple of nights. It was the next morning. Oh my God. So basically, after that, probably <laughs> you seen the Chris Jericho press conference when he came out. Yeah. Oh, the fuck you guys want? You drag me out of the dressing room and speak to you guys. What the fuck do you guys want? So right after that, he comes up. So uh, we recorded today, Kenny. What's going on? We're going to do this today? Let's go. Hey, yeah, yeah. No suplexes today. Let's just do this. It's like awkward. And then uh, Jericho the next night attacking Naito. That was that was unexpected. I was hoping Jericho would stay around for a little longer. I ain't expecting next night though. Yeah, yeah, he's doing a cruise. He's doing a Jericho cruise. I'm not sure what month is gonna be, but I know he's doing a cruise. Oh, he was telling me about that. Yeah, though. yeah I think he's gonna have he's him gonna and Kenny wrestling on a boat. I think we'll see him and Kenny one more time, or because he said that him and Kenny was a one-time thing, it might be him and Kenny teaming up against another team. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That'd be pretty cool to see. And we were, we were just talking about that yesterday, Alpha and Omega. That'd be a crazy ass side team. Look at that. Facts. Look at that. Both for Winnipeg. It's, Why not? So it's I mean, all, it's all coming together. I mean, but let's that, talk about what's really coming together. Roy Rumble is just a couple weeks away. Oh yeah. man. Um, bold prediction. Kenny. You think Kenny's gonna do it? <laughs> Number thirty, Kenny. <laughs> you think so? I don't know, man. The way that they they're pushing this, I mean, it's. I don't know. Well, it's just, look it looks it looks like, you know, you get a guy like Jericho mm -hmm. from the WWE, he goes into New Japan Pro Wrestling, fights one of the top guys there, and then, you know, now you got the little beef between Kenny Omega and, and uh and Cody. and Cody because Cody attacked Kota Ibushi, so it's like I don't know, I feel like behind the scenes, like maybe I'm wrong about it, but like uh, what if like a they they traded Chris Jericho for you know Kenny Omega. Wouldn't that be? Ooh, that's, 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 that's kind of crazy. Now, right now hear me out on this. When and I was talking to you about this on the phone the other day. Remember when AJ when AJ had left Bullet Club? You remember AJ was basically like the leader of Bullet Club at that point. Yeah, Kenny, like the like leader. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And then you had Kenny, who was always you know just there, but Kenny, Kenny was there longer, right? Yeah. So peep the fly in it. How like at one point. AJ kept going against Kenny in the coming months of him leaving. Oh, yeah, definitely. And then they turned on AJ and mm -hmm. made Kenny the leader. Right so, now, if you really look at the power shift, it kind of looks like they fucking with Cody a little bit more. Of course. To turn on Kenny. Ken yeah, To make course. Cody the leader. And that could open up the doors for Kenny to just walk into yeah, WWE and make get something shift. going. We need Vince to think about it a little bit more because you know Vince is power hungry. He wants exclusivity for his brand. Well, Jericho just gave him the blessings, you know what I mean? He blessed him with a match. That was like how how many stars you could say? I'd say like I don't want to say four and a half. I, I really don't, don't want to say five. I'll go I'll go five stars. Yeah, I mean, I mean every shit, I'd, it, yeah. I'd even shoot higher than that. I say it was a six star match, and it, it it passed my favorite match that was on the card, which was the Fatal Four Way, because that was like more of a. I mean, I wouldn't say spot fest. There was some legit moves in there, some good holds. Marty Scrolls a beast. Oh, he's a monster. It was, it was a good good. He's a monster. It was a good appetizer. It's just like I feel like you know. When you want to deliver on a singles platform, Kenny Omega and Jericho just they shitted on the whole 
the whole show. Like I don't know. The only one, and I really feel like the only ones that could come up on a one-on-one -on -one basis next to it. There's another two matches right after that. I would honestly have to say the main event itself because mm -hmm. you can't sleep on that one. Oh, that yeah, was fucking. It was, it was, it was, it was slow burning. <laughs> at first, at first. At it first, so it was a little technical, but you know what? For them to go down 45 minutes like that, that was amazing. Definitely, definitely. Um, and then the Cody Rhodes match. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah the last that time I've seen oh a 45 minute WWE match is. They, they, don't, they don't really exist anymore. They don't really exist like that. The, the they don't. NXT, basically. NXT, they'll, they'll give you a little taste of that every now yeah, and then. Yeah, that's, take over. that's true. The, the crossover, uh, crossroads. Off the, uh, oh my the, god, uh, off the ring? Yeah. Off the apron. Oh, oh yeah. my god. That was... I, I, thought the, I thought the man literally just died. You say your prayers.